With the completion of the preliminary work, the residential cleanup is scheduled for individual properties. Every morning, EPA's contracting teams meet to discuss the day's assignments and any special needs that come up. Each home literally becomes a hazmat site with hot, cold, and warm zones. For an interior or attic that needs vermiculite insulation removal, a vacuum truck and vacuum box are used to vacuum and hold the contaminated insulation. To filter air and prevent any airborne fibers from escaping, a negative pressure air system with a HEPA filter is also installed. The system requires plastic sheeting to be attached around windows and doors to completely seal the area. The insulation is then vacuumed from the attic or interior using a long, large diameter hose leading to the vacuum box and truck. When the bulk material is taken out, then there will be some detailing work, and that includes just smaller hoses, little brooms, scrapers, nooks and crannies, and really trying to get out all the last bit of vermiculite possible. Clear sealant is applied to any cracks detailing can't reach, followed by an encapsulant spray to lock down fibers that may be left behind. The area is visually inspected then air samples are taken and analyzed. For interior cleaning, the setup is similar to insulation removal, requiring a negative pressure air system and windows and doors to be sealed. The majority of items in the rooms are then cleaned in place using smaller HEPA vacuums and moist towels. The focus is on horizontal surfaces and carpets where asbestos fibers may have settled. 